Hello, time for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a NOT gate on the D Wave 1 processor. Now, for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to be using a program called the Quantum Programming Framework. It's basically a big toolkit which allows you to create and run um, quantum programs. So, if you're interest interested in quantum programming, then I highly recommend um, getting this software. Um, if you want the software, just email me and I'll send you the, um, the program basically. So, okay, so the first thing we do is we create a program by um, typing in one, and this will open up the machine code creator. Now, what this program does here is it simulates an 8 qubit cell um, and allows you to basically. Um, program the individual qubits and couplings, so it's very low-level programming. I think even more low-level than assembly. So, first of all, what we do is we type in the name, which will be not, and then the file name, which is not.txt. And what this will do is it will write all the results to the file name that you've typed in. Um, it will be in the same directory as QPF itself. Okay, so now we actually start programming. Um, so first we program the hbias values. Now the hbias values are basically the individual values we values we give to each qubit. Now for this demonstration, we're only going to be using um, qubit 48. But um, basically you could program up to 8 qubits, so basically a qubyte. Very small, but it will give you a good idea of how to program for the D-Wave 1 and how it works in general. So we'll give it a small bias of 0 0.2 and then we leave the rest as 0. And then we need to decrease its rate to by minus 0 0.1 each time. And what this will allow the um, program to do is to, um, as the um, bias decreases, um, the qubit will flip once it reaches a minus, sorry, a negative number. So at the start of the program, it will be a, a, um, a zero, but then as the bias decreases, it will more likely become a one, basically. So we'll just give these all to zero. Okay, J bias values are basically the um, values we assign to each coupling. Now a coupling in the processor is basically a piece of circuitry which connects two qubits together. So it allows um, one qubit to influence another basically through entanglement, which we're not going to use in this demonstration but we will use in the next video. So just leave this as a zero. And then we'll set the um, amount of steps to 4. Okay, there we are. So the program is finished running and we can analyze the results. So you'll see the first measurement um, measured the um, qubit at a bias of 0 0.1 and then measured the state as minus 1. Now, a minus 1 basically means a 0. Um, you'll see that the other qubits are free. Basically, that means it's undefined. And actually, you'll see that in the second measurement, it gives qubit 48 a state of free, which yeah is undefined. That's because the bias value is a, a naught. And then in the third one, you'll see that the bias value is minus 0.1, and you'll see that the state is flipped to a one. So you can see that already it's finished um, flipping. It's gone from minus one or a naught to a one. So that's simply how you create a NOT gate. So it's very simple. So I hope you enjoyed this um, demonstration. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to create a CNOT gate, which will make use of entanglement. So I'll see you then.